Good morning, everybody. We are back with Verb Tense Part 5 in Mr. Adier's Communication Arts class. So, again, this is becoming redundant. I know if you've watched parts 1, 2, 3, and 4, you're saying, yes, Mr. Adinger, I understand. Past, present, and future is something I've learned already in school. And we're going to talk about simple, continuous, and perfect. So we've discussed in parts one, two, and three, the past simple, past continuous, and past perfect. Then in part four, we've discussed the present simple. So at this point, you're probably understanding the pattern that we're going to be doing present continuous next, and then present perfect, then future simple, future continuous, future perfect. So if you haven't figured that out already, there's going to be nine videos that you're going to be watching at the end of this unit. So I walked is the past simple. I was walking is the past continuous. I had walked is your past perfect. I walk is your present simple. Today, we're going to be discussing the present continuous, I am walking. And then in the future, we're going to be doing I have walked, I will walk, I will be walking, and I will have walked. So when do we use the present continuous? We use the present continuous for things that are happening at the moment of speaking. These things usually last for quite a short time and they are not finished when we are talking about them. So remember we said, I am walking. So that's something that's happening as we're speaking and it did not finish yet. Please wait, I am talking to someone right now. Now you've probably heard your mom or dad say that to you. You know, mommy's talking or please wait, dad's talking to somebody right now. Um, and it can be frustrating, but we know that's the polite thing to do if somebody's speaking we wait until that conversation has ended or there's a break in the conversation. Anyway, I want to know where is the present continuous verb being used here? Am talking. That is the present continuous verb. Mr. Adinger is sleeping on the classroom floor. So we have to be quiet. We can't wake him up. But I want to know where is the present continuous verb? That's right. It is sleeping. Please call back later because we are eating dinner right now. Where is the present continuous verb here? Are eating. All right, rule two on when to use the present continuous ver uh, verb is for other kinds of temporary situations, even if the action isn't happening at this moment. So here's some examples. He is working as a fitness trainer until he finds a new job. So he might not currently be at work, but we know that this is a temporary job that he has until he finds something new. So it's something that in theory is happening right now, but he might not physically be at work. So I want to know, where is the present continuous verb here? Is working. I'm reading a really great book. Well, obviously, if I'm talking to you about this book, it's not actually in my hand being read because I can't have a discussion and read at the same time. But what I mean is I have not finished the book yet. So I want to know where is the present continuous verb being used here? I'm reading. So when to use the present continuous uh, rule number three. So we can use the present continuous for temporary or new habits. So for normal habits that continue for a long time, we use present simple, but these are the, the temporary or new habits. And we often use this with expressions like these days or at the moment. He is eating a lot these days. So we're saying this isn't something that he's been doing his whole life, and maybe it's going to be something that ends soon, we hope. But I want to know where is the present continuous verb here? Is eating. He is working out every morning lately. So maybe this is because he's eating a lot. Um, this is a temporary habit that's going on lately. I want to know, where is the present continuous verb tense being used here? Is working or is working out. OK, when to use the present continuous rule for? So another present continuous use is for habits that are not regular, but that ha happen very often. So in this case, we usually use an adverb like always, forever, or constantly. And often, we use the present continuous in this way to talk about an annoying habit. He is always texting on his phone. So where is the present continuous verb tense being used here? 
is always texting. You are constantly posting negative things on social media. Where is the present continuous verb tense being used here? Are constantly posting. I am forever grateful for what you did for me. So now this isn't one of the ones that are annoying, but it's, it's an example here because forever is that word that's going to make this present continuous. It's going to allow for us to use the present continuous verb tense. I want to know where is the present continuous verb tense. Am forever grateful. So here's the fifth rule. We use present continuous for definite future arrangements with a future time word. So in this case, we have already made a plan and we are pretty sure that the event will happen in the future. I am meeting Jim at the golf course on Thursday. So unless something comes up, we are pretty certain that Jim and I will meet on Thursday at the golf course. So I wanna know, where is the present continuous verb being used here? Am meeting. We are going to the beach this summer. Now we already booked it. We're pretty certain it's going to happen unless there's some um, situation that arises that causes us to have to cancel. Um, but we are going to the beach this summer is pretty certain in the schedule. I want to know where is the present continuous verb being used here? Are going. So there's verb tense part five. Um, take it easy and I'm looking forward to seeing part six with you.